Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance here. Um, this Cat 302 mini excavator. It's kind of got some bob in this cylinder right here. And it's kind of running low on uh, hydraulic power, so we're gonna see um, if the hydraulic fluid is low. Um, and if it is, we're gonna put some more hydraulic fluid in it. I'll kind of go over how to do the hydraulic maintenance as well while we're here, but let's take a look. We're gonna wanna get this machine warmed up. Open this back cover and then you're hydraulic oil in there at the moment in that little gauge so we're definitely low what we're gonna do is try to find a level spot for this machine and then we're gonna curl the bucket bring the stick in and lower the boom um, and put some hydraulic oil in it the hydraulic oil we put in these machines is cat brand only cross-reference if there's not a cat dealer um, near to I think it's a 36 40 doesn't say on here but uh, if you get stumped call the cat dealership ask them um, what you can use what you can't use make sure you don't use anything that you can't use because uh, putting Anything other than cat hydraulic oil in this machine will sort of void any warranty. Um, and yeah, so the hydraulic fill cap is actually in this door. You got one, two, three bolts, and then that door swings open. It is on a hinge, so you just loosen those three bolts and you'll be able to get to it. So I'm gonna get the machine on a level ground and get those bolts off. All right, so we got the machine on level ground. We got the bucket curled up, stick in, boom down. Um, blade orientation isn't that important. Uh, we'll check this. The machine's warmed up, so we'll check this again. And yeah, nothing still. So what we're gonna wanna try to do is with the machine uh, in, the con in the position that it's in, we're going to make sure we fill the hydraulic line up to this middle mark here. Um, and that should get us running back right. So, again, we've got a uh, 16 millimeter for these bolts here. Again, there's three bolts. I'm going to take those off real quick and the door will swing open. Okay, so we got these three bolts off. Again, the door should swing open. It's on a hinge. It's got a little latch there if you need it. Um, just pulls out, kind of goes down, sits in this spot right here. I got a tree right here, so. Um, this is your hydraulic fuel cap. Says it right here. So, we'll take this off. It might be a little pressurized. You gotta push it down and turn it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is take the hydraulic oil, pull this guy up. And we're just gonna pour it in there and kind of check our gauge as we do it. Um, a little bit at a time doesn't hurt. All right, so I'm gonna pour this in there. Okay, so we got a little bit much in there. Um, as long as we're not over that top red line, we should be all right. That'll give us a little leeway if we break a hydraulic hose and uh, spill some. We know it won't be completely empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this. I am going to put the cap back on here.
Now your hydraulic filter is in here and this little valve, this little valve here, you can get to from underneath the machine to drain the hydraulic fluid out when you want to change it. Um, so again, filter, that's how you drain the drain plug, cap, it's all inside this door here. So what I'm going to do now is start the machine up, cycle the hydraulics, cycle every hydraulic we can. That means tracks, everything. Um, and then I'm going to come back and check the fluid level again. So I'll end up probably just putting one bolt in this for now to keep the door shut by hand. Okay, so we cycled the hydraulics, um, all the hydraulics we could. We're gonna check fluid levels again. So we're running a little bit more than that middle line, but again, that'll give us some leeway if we break a hose. Uh, should be all right, it's not gonna hurt it. But as long as it's not over that red line, you'll be all right. Put these bolts back on the door. Tighten everything up, good to go.